Hey folks, it's me again. Today I'm recording from a forest because we're going to talk about natural logs. And here we go. The most important number when we're talking about logs and natural logs is the number E. And it's really important for you guys to know that E is in fact a number, not just a letter. So, what is E? Well, it's a number. We represent it by a letter. We're familiar with numbers like this. Pi is one of those things. These are like the most famous numbers, the most important numbers. Pi is a number, and E is another number. Uh, just like pi, E is irrational. It never repeats. It's infinite. It goes on forever. Here's the first about 15 decimal places of E. Um, when you, the best thing to do since this goes on forever is to just find on your calculator the E button. Uh, your calculator has three, well, two E buttons. It's got one right here, E to the X if you're doing a power. And it's got one over here if you just need the, the E. Both of those can accomplish E. Here's a list of some things that E is used for. Uh, it shows up a lot in nature, which is why we call these logarithms the natural logarithms. Populations that grow continuously are modeled with E. Things that heat or up or cool down are frequently modeled with E. Uh, radiation and anything that's decaying radioactively frequently is modeled with E. Um, and if you have ever had a headache and you've taken an aspirin, uh, and you have that aspirin in your bloodstream and it's losing amount of aspirin in your bloodstream, that too is modeled with E. Everything that has sort of, sort of a continuous process is modeled with E. Uh, usually when you're modeling something with E, the model you use looks like this. Uh, depending on the class you're in, you might use different letters, but we use the letters K and C. Uh, so K represented the starting amount. Uh, of whatever it is, of whatever you had. And then the C represented, uh, it was a, just a coefficient on X, we'll say. Uh, and we'll say it's related to the growth rate. And the C, uh, the K is usually a whole number because it's an amount of population or an amount of, of items, an amount of um, deer in the forest. Um, C is frequently a decimal. Not always. It's allowed to be a whole number, but frequently uh, you'll find it as a decimal. Often, we'll say, uh, it's a decimal. So let's look at some examples of just equations that use that E continuous growth. So here's just four quick examples of possible exponential growth situations. Um, notice that the a value can be a small number like 5, uh, or the starting value. It can be a small number like 5, it can be a fraction, it can be a big number, or it could be, like in this last case, just an invisible 1. Uh, and the k value can be a decimal like these guys, or it can be a whole number like you see in this scenario. So these are all examples of equations that might use e. Well, now let's talk about solving equations with e. So let's say you were doing an exponential growth problem. You'd worked with a model, you'd done some word problems, you'd done all sorts of algebra, and you'd finally got it down to something like e to the x equals 15. And you wanted to know what x equals. To solve this, we're going to need to use a logarithm. If you've seen the previous videos on logarithms, you know that logarithms are the tool for when you have an x as an exponent, or an unknown in your exponent, to get that out of there, you need to use a logarithm. I'm not ready to do this problem yet, so I'm going to do a related problem that I think I do know how to do. I believe it's over here. 5 to the x is 15. So to do this problem, I would rewrite it as a log. Since this is the base of the exponent, I would write it as log base 5. So that's still the base. This is the exponent. So logs equal exponents. And that's why they're a useful tool for getting uh, exponents out of a log, so that now x is alone in this expression. Uh, and this is the, the answer, which is what's going to go inside the parentheses. So log base 5 of 15 is equal to x. Uh, and if you wanted to answer this question, 5 to what power is 15, then you could throw over to your calculator 
Um, if you're, you can watch my other videos on calculators uh, if you want to see how to do these logs in, in a calculator. And you could do alpha window 5 and type in something like log base 5 of 15. Then if you take that answer and plug it back into the original, you could do 5 to the power of this, and you get something really close to 15. Your calculator is doing a little bit of rounding here. Going back to the original problem with E, uh, we're still going to use a logarithm. But this time, we're going to use a log base E. And working off the problem before, it's going to look like log base E of 15 equals X. Now I looked really hard on my calculator and I didn't see a log base E button. And rather than messing around with the log base menu, uh, we're going to use the natural log. So I'm going to rewrite this in one last way as ln of 15 equals x. Natural log and log base e mean the same thing. It's just that it's a function that's used so frequently, so often in all sorts of contexts, that it's, it gets its own name and its own button. It's a really special sort of function. Uh, and so let's just type that in. And this is really easy to type, and this is a whole lot easier than the one before. You just do this. 2.7, and so the way we're going to test this out is I'm going to say, all right, uh, E, ooh, wrong one, E to the 2.7, and let's see what we get, and we should expect to get 15. That's how I can check my answer. And hey, look, it worked. I got 15. So this is how you solve, in general, a problem like this. Um, you think about the E as the base of a log, and then you write it as a natural log. Here's a problem that's a little more complicated. Um, step one of this problem is algebra. Step three of this problem is algebra. Step two is the log. So we're not going to be able to do anything with logs until we've done some algebra. And the first algebra that we have to do is just divide everything by five. So we're going to get e to the 6x plus 3 is uh, 0.1 divided by 5, is that the same as 1 50th? I'm going to leave it as a fraction. You'd be okay leaving it as a decimal. Now I've got E alone. This is where I'm going to convert to natural log form. So I'm going to have 6x plus 3 is the same as the natural log of 1 over 50. So I'm converting to natural log form. This is like, again, log base e, if you're not uh, confident in what's going on here. Natural log of 150 is just, that's just a number. It looks gross, it's just a number. We'll put it in our calculator, but only at the very end of the problem. Um, all right, that was step one. That, step two was the log. Here's step three, is more algebra. Uh, we have to subtract three and divide by six. So those will reduce out, and then those will reduce out. Um, be sure you're doing that in the correct order. And so you're going to get a final answer. X is the natural log of 1 over 50 minus 3 divided by 6, which we can type into our calculator. Uh, I'm going to pause and I type that in. It's probably easiest to type it in in two steps. Do the whole top of the fraction, hit enter and evaluate it. Um, oh my, it's negative. Well, that's because we're subtracting 3 and because we've got fractions going on. So don't be too scared of that. And then uh, divide it by 6. Negative 1.152. So I'll say approximately negative 1.152 dot dot dot. Um, which of these you'd prefer? Either of these would be okay as a final answer. In a math problem, we'd probably prefer this one. If this was a word problem or a story problem, you might prefer the decimal answer because you might want to attach some units to it, but that depends on the problem you're doing. Next problem. Very similar flavor to the last one. Um, I suggest if you, you want to practice a little bit, pause the video right now and try this problem. Did you pause? All right, welcome back. Um, we're going to do our algebra log algebra step again. So the first step is algebra divide by 4. So you can get e to the 3x minus 1 is equal to 5 over 4. Now we're going to do the natural log step. So converting this to log form, uh, you're going to get 3x 
minus 1 is equal to the natural log of 5 over 4. Then uh, we'll keep doing algebra, add 1 and divide by 3. So you're going to get x is the natural log of 5 over 4 plus 1 all over 3. Uh, and again, we can put that in our calculator. And divide by 3. Something like 0 0.4077. And that's how you approach problems where uh, you have an E in them. You treat them just like you would treat a log problem. Uh, but instead of taking the log base whatever, you take the natural log because the natural log has a built-in base of E. Sometimes you get problems with a log already in them. Uh, I find this to be a little bit trickier. It's the same ideas going around, but it's something about the way that we translate uh, that I've just found a little trickier. So you'll just want to slow down and practice this step. And if it seems hard at first, then keep practicing and keep working and it will get easier. Um, the translation that you need to know is this. If the natural log of x, if you have something written like this, then this is really log base e of x is equal to a, which would translate to, since e is the base, that has to translate to e to the a equals x, <clears throat> which is what we've written down here as well. So as long as, again, you're confident in your log translations, the natural logs are nothing new. Um, if you're not sure about how to translate this log, then it's not a natural log you're having a problem with. It's just logarithms in general. You should go back at video and go back to, to the previous work and work on that. Uh, all right, let's keep working. Just like before, step one ooh, is algebra. So we're going to add seven. And you get the natural log of 2x is equal to 11. Um, some of you have been asking me, do you need parentheses around this? Uh, as long as it's the only thing around here, you don't need parentheses. But it's also not wrong to include them. So that's your call. I'll leave it up to you. Now we're going to translate this uh, as before. So just this one time, I'm going to write it as log base e of 2x is equal to 11. You're welcome to do this as long as it takes for you to be able to translate this. This is going to be the same as e to the 11 is equal to 2x. Step 3, again, is still doing algebra, so you have to divide everything by 2. And you get e to the 11th divided by 2 equals x. Personally, I would prefer that you leave it, your answer just like this, because this is exact. If you're a calculator person and you would really, really want to get e to the 11th, here it is. It's a big number. We don't really care. It's the same reason we leave, when we're doing circle problems, we leave our answers in terms of pi. Somehow e to the 11th shows a little bit more of the structure than leaving it just as this gross giant number is. So if you really wanted to do it as a final answer, you could give something like this, 29937.70, approximately. And this is what you'd do if we were working in a word problem. But in this math problem, this is probably a better type of answer. Next problem. I do have a little beef with the problem writers here. I think they should have included some parentheses, but this entire term is inside of the natural log. Um, so we're going to have to deal with the log first. There's nothing out here. There's nothing back here. We're just going to deal with the log. So this is log base e. So this is going to be e to the second is equal to 2x over 41. We'll solve this by multiplying by 41 and then dividing by 2. So as a final answer for x, we're going to get 41e squared over 2. I'm not even going to bother to evaluate this in the calculator. 
This is a much nicer answer. Just leave it like this, unless you were doing a word problem and you needed to get this as a value. All right, let's do this last problem. Uh, natural log of e to the x plus 5 is equal to 17. You might be tempted to try to move this 5 over now. You can't. Don't do it. This whole thing is in the exponent. All right. This is a little tricky, though. Notice that this whole thing is inside of the log. So let's just see what happens if we translate to exponent form. Hi, I have students waiting to come in, but they're being very patient. Um, so let's translate this whole thing into exponent form. This is going to be e to the 17th is equal to everything inside the parentheses, e to the x plus 5. And hey, look, we've got a same base problem. So let's just compare the bases, 17 and x plus 5. Well, that looks like a problem we know how to solve. We'll subtract 5 and get x equals 17 minus 5 is 12. All right, one final problem on this video on e, and it's a word problem. So the population of spiders, I know you're going to love this problem, in a haunted house is increasing continuously because that's what spiders do. The spiders are modeled by this equation given right here where t is the number of months since the house became haunted. How many months will it take for there to be one million spiders? Here's a cute little spider for you. Now let's solve this problem. So if we want to know how many months it will take for there to be one million spiders, t is months. So we're going to take one million and plug it in over here. And we're going to be trying to solve for this t value. First step is divide by 5,000. We do a million divided by 5,000, we get 200. So this is really saying 200 is equal to e to the 0 0.707 t. And hey, this looks, just looks like the problems we've just been doing. So let's translate this into log form, because I want to, still want to get my t alone. So this is going to be natural log of 200 is equal to 0 0.07 t. I'll put my parentheses around here. And then to solve for t, we'll do natural log of 200 divided by 0 0.07 equals t. Be sure you close parentheses if you're putting something in the calculator like this. And be sure you get the right number of decimal places. I've seen a lot of decimal errors here. All right, so our answer is 75.69. Approximately is equal to t. And that means that after 75.69 months, there will be a million spiders.